everybody. I am Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I am sitting here with technically what I consider the birds of prey. Uh, oh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> we got Kat McNamara, Katie Cassidy, Juliana Harkavy, all of you guys from Arrow, of course. Uh, and this is, we've gotten you guys together because Arrow Complete, season, or complete Series is coming out on DVD uh, next week. And we figured this was a great time to talk to you guys because we're all still waiting to find out about the, the pilot. But let's talk about Arrow. For, first of all, let's talk about you guys. Have you been like group chatting? Are you Zooming all the time now? I, I have been. I actually was saying not only I recently did a huge, uh, got together with my director's program that I took last year. We did a huge session, like a, just a catch up to, which was awesome. I think there was like 17 of us on Zoom just to, you know, say hi and how we miss each other and how the quarantine's going. But also, um, actually, Ruby, myself, and Katie Lotz have been on a group chat and um, a Zoom throughout these days. Um, but yeah, I've been staying in touch with people. Yeah. yeah, I mean, thank goodness we all live in a time where we can stay connected with technology. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm quarantining on my own. So uh, the only way I get to interact with human beings is virtually right now. Um, so I've been Zooming with my family once a week. We have a family reunion. Also, I have a, a game night group that normally gets together. We play Mafia via Zoom now. And we're having costume themed. I want to get in on that, by the way. That's hilarious. I Can I get in on that Mafia game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It sounds fun. <laughs> what about you, Juliana? My first Zoom experience was on Passover. I had a Zoom Seder with like 30 people and it was awesome. It was so fun. Um, and other than that, this is the, like, this is my first time downloading it onto my computer and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, um, it, it, it's super fun. You know? Yeah, it's easier. Like I built it up in my head as this big, like it would be difficult to figure out. It's quite straightforward actually. <laughs> and you guys are, you guys are the lucky ones because you actually got to wrap your show before all of this happened. Like you got to end it all. Yeah. Could you imagine oh. if you were like the Flash or Supergirl? Oh my God. Yeah. I really feel for the productions that had to stop in the middle and have that anxiety as well of, of like, <laughs> I've been with how many people for the past how many right. weeks? Like that, I really, we are so, so lucky. I don't know what we've done to deserve this, but like, <laughs> and even the fact that our, our pilot was completed, all of the, and mm -hmm. I mean, I hate, this is really not nice, but like, I mean, I'm not wishing bad on anyone, but I'm happy that we completed our pilot. <laughs> pilot <laughs> yeah, yeah. didn't to get drowned out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's true. I mean, everything's still up in the air right now. We don't even know what the industry is going to look like in a few months. No. And, uh, the fact, I mean, I was supposed to be in a different country shooting a movie right now. And you know, thank goodness we got some things have wrapped, like our pilot wrapped, we finished up the stand right before all of this happened as well. So yeah. hopefully post-production will keep things moving forward and those that have wrapped can still at least put some content out. But in the meantime, we have the Arrow DVD that has so much bonus content. Yeah. So much bonus content. What's oh, that? I thought how you did that. <laughs> Yeah, and we've got, what we also have is the many hair colors of Katie Cassidy. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Laurel went through so Along with my many journey. personalities, you know, yeah. you never know which one you're gonna get. Many hair, it was a hair journey from day one. It was like darker, it was longer, then it was shorter, and then it was busy. Yeah, have you guys yeah. watched any of the old episodes? Oh yeah. But when I when I was first cast, I as soon as I found out that I was going to be Oliver Blissey's child, um, I went through and watched the entire series to kind of pull any mannerisms or or glean what I could from their characters. Well, sometimes my YouTube just randomly like suggests old random like, episodes of Arrow from like season one, and I'm like, oh, and I like I'll see Katie with like her long dark hair. I'm like, oh, and it's cool, and I get to watch you know little bits of. Yeah, that's how I'm watching old episodes at the moment. <laughs> that is hilarious. And Katie, when you started on this, like, do, could you have imagined how many iterations of Laurel you would get to play? No. I mean, I, having said the journey and the way the, writer, the writers have sort of, you know, have written for me, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really grateful and blessed because I, and just to be honest, like, I wouldn't still probably be as, I mean, I'm so invested still and passionate because they are telling the story for me, they're giving me things to do, you know, as opposed to just, I'm there and it becomes um, 
stale for me as an actor because I'm doing the same thing for so long and playing, you know, not giving me any sort of like journey or substance. So I'm grateful that they have written so many different versions and so many different um, arcs and layers and, you know, because it's given me stuff to play with as an actor. So I'm not, I'm not to, yeah, to follow that up, that's something that I think is so special about the Arrowverse, is that not only every character, but particularly all the women, it's, these three, you know, our, our three characters are a testament to that. They have such rich backstories and such arcs, and they're truly fully developed, rich, nuanced characters. And, you know, that gives all of us something to do as actors, but it also presents this wonderful image that the badass, strong, confident, empowered woman isn't just one archetype. It can be any woman who chooses to, you know, stand firm on what she believes in. Yes. And we found out in the, the, the pilot, the backdoor pilot, that um, Dinah has an incredible singing voice. <laughs> yeah! So, and let's, like, let's talk about that for a second. First of all, where has that been hiding all this time? That's a very good <laughs> question <laughs> for myself. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she like she found her voice, you know. That was she incredible. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That was that was probably one of my favorite parts, and I'm really so grateful to our writers for allowing that to be part of her uh, story. It I was, it was a dream, but when it actually when they proposed it, I was scared, um, and <laughs> it felt so good to like to to do it and to sing. And I was like, this is such a literal like expression of my character, and it was quite cathartic for me as a as a person as well. And how was it for you guys filming that episode where it really was like, you don't have to worry about all the others. <laughs> it was just you guys doing it. It was awesome. Like, <laughs> I just have to say, like, it was great. Yeah. It was like being in the reins and they're like, here's a field. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It was fun and it was strange to sort of find the tone of the show, but also, you know, it, it there's such a, a duality with all of our characters. You know, there's the, we have had the world reset. We're trying to figure everything out. And, you know, I, of course, it was our first episode, really, without Steven. So yeah. that was strange for me, at least. Yeah. Um, not having Steven or Emily. You know, I'm used to having my parents around. They just <laughs> they gave me the keys to the car, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> but, um, you know, they gave, now that Mia has these two realities, it was a fun challenge to to blend the different sets of memories and sort of figure out, which set of her instincts would take over and what challenges does that present for her as a character, but also what opportunities does it present for her and how does it become an asset as she moves forward taking on the mantle of the Green Arrow. So do you guys have any favorite episodes or moments that you got to play that you really never thought you would get to do? Well, I did never know if I'd work with Steven because originally Mia was in 2040 and, and the way that they brought her back to 2020 in such a such a kick-ass way, directed by Miss Cassidy. Um, and then, you know, th th there were so many things that mirrored his journey and so many things that we got to do together. Like in the in episode five of, of season eight, we were fighting side by side, fighting the Bratva in a cage. And then in the crossover, we were running around abandoned buildings with Batwoman as things were exploding all around us. And there's, there are a few moments in, in careers that we have that we kind of have to pinch ourselves and go, this, this is too unreal to actually be what I do for a living. And that was one of those moments. Putting on the costume for the first time is amazing. You realize like you're embodying the hero. It becomes a very physical, very real experience. I know Katie and I both cried the first time that we put on our costumes. And uh, yeah, that was, um, it, it just became real. It didn't feel like this like dream that I'd always wanted to happen. It was like, it's happening to you. And now you actually stand for something and you're, you're, you represent something and like, what kind of hero do you want to be? I mean, definitely when I put on the jacket for the first time, I cried. It's just like, yes, finally. Yes! Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to kick some ass, sorry. <laughs> Um, anyways, <laughs> I was clearly very excited. Yes. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes forward, would you want to direct an episode of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I'm cursing. I'm really I, excited by your energy right now. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, because I just, I'm so sad. Like, it makes me sad that everyone's been so down, but I'm like, let's look forward to something positive. Starting, I guess, on the 28th at the Arrow Complete uh, series and eighth and final season will be available at retail stores 
if they're open. So you guys can check that out too. Ladies, thank you so much for taking the time. So yeah. great seeing you. I cannot wait to talk to you when the pilot goes. Amen. And when we're talking about the new fall season and the Black Canaries. Oh, so Ooh. excited. Oh, so much. Thank you. We'll put it out there. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.